Hi there everybody, this is Heidi Hollis with another installment of Alien Advice. And uh, aren't those lights kind of cool going through my face, those lines from the lines? <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to uh, read this letter to you. It says, hello, I thought I was the only one who ever saw what you call the hat man until I came upon a YouTube video of you describing it. That's cool. I was about seven or eight when I saw this creature. This happened between 1970 and 71. It was the only time in my life that I have ever seen it. Thank goodness. My family was camping somewhere near South Dakota. I can't remember the exact place as we had a camper. and went all over from Rapid City, South Dakota to North Carolina and down to San Antonio, Texas. At any rate, we were all asleep when suddenly I woke up. I looked to the back of the camper and saw the exact figure that you have talked about. It was very tall and thin. He was wearing a rimmed hat with a flat top and a long black trench coat. Very typical of the hat man. And yes, I made that name up. <laughs> really, I did. Uh, hat man, I figure it, it suited him. And now all over the world, people talk about it. So it's kind of cool. He reminded me of a scary looking detective. I did not see a face or eyes. He just stood there in front of the back door. I thought for some skinny, tall man had broken. Oh, I thought for sure. I'm sorry. I thought for sure some skinny, tall man had broken into our camper. I kept staring at it. I remember thinking it was not a shadow, it was an actual person. I was scared to death, but for some reason I did not scream or try to wake my parents up. My sister was even sleeping beside me and I did not try to wake her up. I wanted to, but I felt that this thing would attack us if I did. Oddly enough, after several minutes of staring at this thing, I finally covered my head with the bed covers in hopes he would disappear. Then I fell asleep. I told my mother about it the next morning, and she said it had to be some shadows from something that was playing tricks on my eyes. The next night, I stared at the door, looking at the same image I thought I saw the night before, but I never saw the hat man again. I've never forgotten this experience. I've told it to several people. No one else that I've shared the story with has ever seen anything like I had experienced. It's pretty weird that I saw the picture of the hat man on YouTube, as well as your website. Thank you for your time. Janine. Well, Janine, believe it or not, there have been a lot of people. Don't you hate when the phone rings when you're in the middle of doing something? I'm not getting that. Anywho, <laughs> um, interesting enough, a, a lot of people try to explain away, you know, oh, it was a shadow playing tricks on you. This was that, and this was, you know. Uh, there have been a lot of people that have uh, experienced this, but... What I think is cool about this experience, and I've heard about this thing a lot. Um, thank God the phone stopped ringing. Um, <laughs> these magical covers that people have. I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've gotten an email or a letter uh, from people claiming, you know, I saw this thing in my room, and I was like staring at it. And I didn't know what to do, so I pulled the covers over my head. I mean, not even children. I mean, this person was between the ages of 7 and 8 years old. And it worked for her. You know, it disappeared after she pulled the covers. You know how many people, I mean, adults, grown people, that are like, you know, I thought to get out of the bed. I went to go and uh, approach this thing or whatever. And I'm like, no, no, no. And I just pulled the covers over my head and just, like, hoped it would disappear. It blows my mind how that works. Magic covers. I think that's what's going on. There are magic bed covers out there that we just don't even know that they exist. No, but in all seriousness, I just wanted to kind of present that out there because it blows my mind how often that happens. Now, why do I think that it works when people pull the covers over their, their head and when they pull them down, the thing is gone? I, I think the only reason that that could actually happen um, as you heard in this letter here with Janine that um, they feel like they can't move when they see this thing and I think when people do kind of break that spell and pull the covers over their head or or turn their back to things which I've done myself you kind of break that spell that you're under and this thing realize it doesn't have the the pull over you that it did and it disappears so um, I don't think it's magic blankets or covers blankies and all that but you never know there's some strange things out there maybe there's like this holy blanket cover maker out there that sprinkles holy water all over all the, the blankets and stuff out there could be just 
thought, isn't it? So, anywho, um, I just thought that would be another cool story to share about the Hat Man. And uh, it, it always blows my mind that people use that name still. I mean, just threw it out there, put it on my website many years ago, actually, um, after going on Coast to Coast AM with George Nori and, you know, giving him the name Hat Man, you know, to think that something you made up is being used all the worldwide. So that's kind of fun. Same with the name Shadow People. That's that's cool, too. So um, I hope that this was informative to you guys. Uh, magic blankies or not, um, I think it's, you know, we're just snapping out of it and these things are disappearing because they don't generally like to feel that they're not in control. So when you move, you do a move to try to protect yourself, which the blankies can do, you know, you're making that move to, like, protect yourself. I think that's what's going on. So this was another installment of Alien Advice. I hope this was helpful to all of you.